Hey guys, this is Caleb with DSLR Video Shooter, and this is the Go Lock. It is a 3D printed cage I designed for the Rode Wireless Go that adds the ability to lock your microphone in place, gives you protection against fall damage, allows you to stand your Go transmitter upright, and just looks cool with several different color options. Below this video, I'll include a link to the Go Lock where you can purchase it or download 3D models of it and print it for yourself for free. All I ask is that you don't go out and sell the models or prints. Buying gear like this or my camera guides and LUTs keeps this channel sponsor free. So if you want to learn more, check the links in the description and thank you guys so much for the support. So this project came about because of my love hate relationship with Rode and the Rode Wireless Go 2. I love this wireless transmitter. So far, it's still my favorite, even though the DJI mic is out and I've tried it. But the one thing that stinks with this guy is how prosumery it is. Is. It has a lot of powerful features, but things like the ability to be able to lock your microphone in place just doesn't exist. So hopefully one day we'll get a Rode Wireless Go Pro or something like that. But until Rode does that, we have this little case that I designed, which comes in three parts, including the body, the thread, and the knurled cap, which locks your microphone in place. There's several other functional features to this little guy. First of all, it's going to protect your Rode Wireless Go if you drop it. There's a lot more plastic around the body, and that's going to crack before your transmitter does. There's also cutouts for the USB jack on the side and the button on the bottom, as well as the LED indicators on the front. So everything's still accessible, including the microphone. There's a cutout at the top so that you can still disconnect the microphone completely and just use the built-in microphone on your Rode Wireless Go. Assembly couldn't be easier. Take the thread and slide it into a little slot on the back of the body. Next, you can take your Rode Wireless Go transmitter, and I like to start it by sliding upward into the case, then inserting the bottom, and once they're aligned, pushing the transmitter all the way in until you get a nice click. The Go lock has little tabs which keep it held in place so you don't have to worry about it popping back out, and the belt clip is still usable even when in the case. To use the locking mic cap, simply take your microphone phone cable and feed it through the side of the cap. The slit is just wide enough to fit compatible lav mics while also being angled so the cap does not fall off of the microphone unless you remove it manually. Next, you can simply connect your microphone to your Rode Wireless Go and thread the cap onto the main body until just snug. Do not over tighten. And now you have a super strong locked microphone. You don't have to worry about the microphone twisting. It's just rock solid. To remove the Go transmitter from the Go lock, simply disconnect the microphone and using both of your thumbs push the go straight out through the back of the case really the only downside or negative to using this device is that you can't use the little wind muff on the built-in microphone so if you're using a microphone like this Rode Lav no problem you just put it on the end of your microphone but when it comes to the built-in microphone you can't use that little twist and lock wind muff and then we have actual microphone compatibility and this project was designed for the Rode Lavalier Go and the Rode Smart Lav Plus or Smart Lav. So those microphones from Rode will work great. It'll probably work with other microphones as long as the connector is thin and somewhat short. If you have a really bulky, long, or connector with a built-in thread, the cap might not be deep enough to be able to thread onto the body. So keep that in mind. But I feel like most people are using these microphones with the Rode Wireless Go because it kind of makes sense. They're affordable, they sound great, and it's a good pairing. And that's really it. Is this thing revolutionary? Absolutely not, but I do think it's kind of fun and I do really enjoy the functionality it gives you all while making your Rode Wireless Go look a little more interesting and a little more fun and a little easier to distinguish from other microphones. I'll be selling about 50 or 60 of these. So again, you can check the link down in the description. And if you enjoy this type of stuff, make sure you subscribe because I have a lot more of these planned, stuff that is way more functional than this. And we're even gonna get into some camera stuff. So it should be a lot of fun going forward. And I would love your feedback. If you have things you would like to see here on the channel when it comes to little products like this, I'm all ears because when it comes to merch, I would love to do stuff like this. You know, t-shirts are fine, but why not have actual gear that we can use in our productions? I hope you guys understand that every dollar you spend on LUTs or camera guides or stuff like this really is keeping the channel ad-free. So far, over 12 years, I've not had one sponsor. So that's thanks to you guys. Hopefully we can keep that going. And with that, I'm not going to continue rambling on. Thank you guys so much. I hope you have a great rest of your week and we'll see you in the next video.